All right, we're heading out to get uh, drop off some eggs and uh, ignore the mess in the truck here, guys. There's all these eggs here. I you know, sold those, 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 those. And all my tools are in here, obviously, because I've been building again lately. And uh, our rooster, which I'll zoom in on because you probably can't really see him. One well, comes out once a day and then goes back in. It's hilarious. Anyway, if he hangs around in here, I'm not too scared for him. But if he starts venturing out over there or anywhere else, then I get a little, little concerned about him. But other than that, he's uh, he's been doing good. So anyway, we're gonna go pick up two new guinea fowl um, for Sly's coop because he has he they they tend to get some lice in that coop for some reason. So we use uh, the DE stuff, the tenacious earth or whatever. Um, so yeah, we used a little bit of that in there to help control it. But these guys, uh, we haven't had any lice issues in the main coop and where the, the other two guineas are. So uh, they're supposed to prevent all that. So anyway, that's what we're gonna do today. Apparently I forgot a bag. <laughs> Another bag of eggs. Not very good bags for this, but. Oh, there they are. Hey guys. Yeah. Scary. I know. You're gonna go to your new home now and you're gonna stay there this time. Yeah. Okay. Have to go into quarantine mode. Okay. I'm tired right. already. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright, let's grab them. Make the jaunt down to a slice coop. Whoa. They're a little spazzy, these birds. Well, they're probably scared. Well, obviously, they're scared. Anyway, I'll come back once we're there and uh, show you the introduction of the guineas. Hi, buddy. Hi, Sly. Girls. Everybody. I was zap myself like last time. All right, guys, come on. Out of the way. There's blue. There's blue. Oh, what have you done? Look at the holes you guys have dug. Look at that hole. The size of you. Hey guys. Hi. The stem's still, uh. She wasn't yesterday. The stem's still broody. She wasn't yesterday. She's somewhere else. I don't see her up there. Oh my god, look at the holes. Oh, Sly's checking them out already. Oh, there she is. She's bathing. Look. Sorry, Stimps. Keep going. You having a bath? I wasn't expecting her to be there, so I disturbed her. Oh, my little baby. Look. <laughs> she was just rolling around. Oh, there. She said, look, look. She's getting in rhythm again. Probably watching the buff too. She doesn't like buffs. <laughs> buff, get out of here. Get out of here, buff. <laughs> Come on, buff. Come on, buff. Ah, oh, she's leaving. Bummer. You're leaving too. You guys are having a good old bath. Look at the size of the holes. It's like break your leg holes. See them all over there? They must have been having a bait, bathing fest over there. Look at them all. Yeah, I think so. Okay, hey, you? buddy. Look, you all puffed up. You ain't walking sideways. Hey, like you drank too much or something? Hey. How light he is. Hey, that's okay, buddy. All right. Okay, so explain the colors again and stuff, please. Okay, so the lighter one is a lavender guinea hen. And the other one is a royal purple 
You can see it in the sun, and as she gets older, you'll see that she's got like a purple tinge to her feathers. Yeah. And they're both girls. And how old are they? They're four and a half months old. So yeah. they're, they'll get bigger. Uh, the reason why we're, we get guineas is because they're kind of cool looking, but mainly because uh, they help with things like lice and parasites and all these different things. Um, they clean up all different types of bugs. Chickens do too, to an extent, but guineas are far superior. Yeah, they'll that. eat lice and mites and ticks. Yeah, and so anyway, this coop has had lice a few times. Um, and they eat the leg mite things too, don't they? Or help with yeah. that, yeah. yeah. Uh, we have had that, but only when we got a chicken with it. Uh, other than that though, these guys have had lice. So this is gonna be, a, and there's lots of room in here for them. This is a perfect, uh, perfect place to put these girls because we noticed the big coop over there doesn't ever get it with the two guineas we already have. So we're gonna do that, especially before winter. Because before winter is uh, when they typically get it because they spend more time inside and stuff. So anyway. Well, they got it in the summer too, but it builds up more in the winter. Yeah. Anyway, let's let them go and see. Sly's already strutting his stuff, so. I'm sorry, ladies. Let's do this. There you go. You're out. Oh, no, no. Don't attack the rooster. Don't attack the rooster. Go with your friend. Go with your friend. Go with your friend. He's kicking at her. Please don't attack her, though, Sly, okay? Come on. They're a little spastic here. They're not the brightest birds. I mean, they're smart in terms of, like, hunting stuff and that, you but then. Okay, just let her figure it out. Come on. There, there we, we go. go. There we go. Oh. Okay, now we gotta watch the fireworks with Stimpy and Blue because they're the ones that are. Yeah. Yeah, Blue's already freaking out. Oh, the guineas don't know. Look, oh. <laughs> Exodus! There's traitors or <laughs> strangers in the coop. <laughs> They don't, they don't know what it is, that's why. It's going to be in blue or part of the group now, eh? Yeah, they are. It's cute. Come on, sweetheart, let's uh, move away so that she can come out. Make sure nothing's going on weird with the other one over here. No, she's over there. They don't oh, there. Do they don't know there. what? No. Even Sly was like, what are you? Because he did his little circle and he stops. I'm like, yeah. what is she? I don't even know if it knows if she's here or not. He got startled because she went like this at him and he went... Oh. <laughs> 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 He's trying to calm everybody down, Danny. Yeah. It's warning. Look, they're all hiding behind him. Look how big he is now when he puffs up. Yeah. Look how much taller he is. Yeah. <laughs> Not liking this, buddy. <laughs> Look at him. Stimpy and Blue. Well, Blue's, or Stimpy's down there. Blue's over there. There she is. Anyway, the guineas uh, like to hot perch high up. They can in, in the coop a little bit. Uh, hopefully they don't sit where Stimpy and that is, unless Stimpy and that's going to sleep with them, but uh, up in the top up there. Uh, but hopefully they just roost with the other birds like the other ones in the other coop do. Because uh, that's what we're getting them for too, is warmth, especially for winter. These guys should be okay for winter anyway. They survived last winter, no problem. We are getting lots of molts going on right now. Yeah, there's lots of molts, molts, and it can change with the heat being so warm out here lately. It can change on the, you know, on the dime. There's some the of them that don't Next day it'll be minus like five. You know, hasn't been yet, but it can be. Because yeah. so. Dolly's definitely most of the buffs, and I think Vanna's even starting to. Because this year has been a very weird year. It's much warmer. First <laughs> uh, Much wow, he's much bigger than he looks. Yeah. He puffs up, eh? Look at that, he's all puffed up. Look at the size of those. Let me go check on them. Look how big he looks. He's big. <laughs> anyway, so. There they are. Look at they're trying to figure out how to get out. Hi, ladies. And they stick together. Like, he's in a pod, these things. They'll go everywhere together in here. Do their heads have a blue tinge? Yeah. I thought they did. I thought it was the lighting, but it looks like they do. Oh. Others are getting more curious. They're venturing out a little bit. Yeah, sure some food over there, see. <laughs> hey, look at the boss like, hmm, okay, I'm scared of them, but I also love food. <laughs> they scared them. Everybody just flew over here, missed it, but freaked out because the guineas came near them. What a wimpy crew. Oh, and this is 
hair Americana that doesn't see very well. Yeah, this one doesn't see very well for some reason. I'm not sure why that happened, but just out of the, out of the blue, it started to happen. Yeah. No, we adopted her. She eats her. and everything. We adopted her. Not because of her eyes, though. No, 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 but she had it when we got her. Yeah, but it's gotten worse, though. But... She's fine. She's eating and everything, so don't get don't be worried about it or anything. But and she would sweat through her molt. Look how beautiful she was. Yeah, she, but yeah, she just has a bit of an eye issue. Not sure what. It's not like a disease or nothing like that. I think it's like a peripheral vision because if everything stays the same spots, she's totally fine. But like when I put this this in and I had it over there, it's totally screwed her up. Huh. Anyway. So I moved it to the side and now she's. As you can tell, she's eating. She's not skinny or anything. So we'll keep an eye on her, but she, lays she eggs. does well. She likes eggs, yeah, quite a bit actually. So nice blue eggs. Yeah, you're just scared because your little crew's gone. You don't know who who's who. So I don't know if she can decipher if that's them or not. Maybe she'll be their friend. She's she's a friend of those. Look, they're doing the same thing as they always do. This coop's strong in terms of like you know illnesses and that knock on wood, but. Uh, Really funny and clicky. Hey guys, you're scaring everybody. They have no idea what you are. Even the big sly is uh, backing away from you. The sly looks like he might be molting his tail feathers. Yeah, he doesn't have the green on there anymore. He doesn't have much for tail feathers, so he's could, he's at that age. He's probably almost... males molt too. Yeah. Oh, okay. He could be molting, buddy. Look at him standing his ground in front yeah. of everybody, though. Penny's starting to molt too. I can he's see getting it. quite the spurs, eh? Yep. The guineas are moving in. <laughs> <laughs> they must feel the most powerful birds in the world right now. And they're, they're not. They're sweet. They... Yeah, they won't attack really. Now, they both should be females. It's hard to tell at this age. But they're quite quiet, so I think they are. But the one in the back there, the lighter colored one, does have kind of oh, protruding... Uh, what do they call on their face? On their faces? Waddles. Those, are they waddles? Okay. Yeah, protruding waddles, which can be mean sometimes male. This poor Americana doesn't know. She's like... Yeah, she's also sweet as hell, so she, she might want them to be her friends. Yeah. Yeah, she's sweet. You guys are a very clicky group. Wait, see, we're, we're going to start a molt. Yeah, molt starting. That's okay. You guys get it over with, though, because this winter's coming. So. Look at Blue was using the, yeah. the new water. Are you right there, buddy? Hey, sweetie. Oh, they're eating bugs off the mesh. That's what they're here for. She's just stuck in between the groups. <laughs> She's very friendly. Very, very friendly. Mm. As they sneak around the back. Well, I think we'll give it a few more minutes and then we'll head out because we've got other things to do here. But things don't just seem to be going terribly wrong at this point. They're, they're all scared to death of the guineas. You guys are being wimpy. Yeah. They're, um, with guineas, they're extremely clean birds, we found. Yeah. They clean themselves a lot. They don't like being dirty. And they forage like crazy all day long. And uh, super foragers. And the other thing we found, too, is I think just from a product of not being mass-produced and mass-fed, that they seem like they're just much hardier. Yeah, apparently they don't get nowhere near as many as illnesses as chickens do and issues. So far, like, we haven't had any issues with Bruce and Pearl. Yeah. These guys don't have names yet, these ladies. We're working on it. All right. We'll be back. Blue's going to lead the charge. She usually does. Yeah, she's not very old at all. No. What a pretty face. Yeah, hey. now about eight feet. She moves about a couple feet every five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, he or she. I'm just going to st stick with one for now until we know. I think it's a girl. Yeah, I kind of kind of she's closer. kind of seems like that. Anyway, if she's a girl and she stays around long enough, we'll have to get her fixed by the summer. And we'll dewarm her too. Yeah, we'll get some dewormers. We're not going to... This isn't our, it'll be a semi-outdoor pet, but <clears throat> she won't be our pet. She's not going to come in the house. But we'll uh, take care of her the best we can from out here. And she'll give her access to the garage, hopefully. 
because then she can get mice which do go in the garage or shop she can deal with that and have a nice warm place to stay that's a trade-off she kills the mice we let her stay there <laughs> the next video she'll be sleeping on you on the couch yeah no <laughs> no, no no cats in the house we got three dogs i just uh can't handle another cat plus a litter box and everything else no thanks yeah, yeah. what are you doing Katie, but we're Katie, not going to turn her away or not help her out no. if it was a feral cat i wouldn't feel as bad because they you know they're feral and they're not going to like you and they'll run off and do whatever anyway but this one i don't think can be feral so <clears throat> i think she's too young oh, oh, oh. oh we just reversed it for 20 minutes oh jamie yeah come here <laughs> Reverse progress, 20 minutes. Come oh. here. Oh, getting more comfortable. Come here. It's halfway back again. Come on. You want your food? She wants her food, babe. Maybe we should move. No, she won't sleep or we're feeding her. She's... Look. Look, kitty. Kitty. Food. Food. Kitty. <laughs> It takes a lot to earn your trust. That's good though, because I don't want to be trusting worthy with anything else around Hi, here. Hi, sweetie, come here. Stop looking at Martin's coop too. <laughs> What's wrong, Katie? All right. Well, I'm gonna sit here for a few more minutes so you can get closer. Oh. Yeah, I told you about every five minutes. <laughs> All right. Again, I will be back. All right, guys. Well, it's been a couple days. And uh, these guys are getting... Oh, hi, Stimpy. The guineas ran off. They're getting closer to each other and they're sleeping... Hi, Blue! Oh, oh. That's Lai! Hi, Buffs! Little Buffs. So it's definitely nice and sunny out today. Uh, and I'm wearing a shirt still, so it's obviously not that cold. But you can feel the temperature in the air changing. The sun's got some kick to it. But you can still feel the, uh, the crispness in the air. For people who live in the colder regions of the world, they would, uh, they can feel that crispness in the change in the weather. I like it, but I just know what's coming. <laughs> who laid the egg? Well, look what you guys have done back here. String still left here. Look what you guys have done, anyway. Look at the egg on the ground. <laughs> it's pretty cold, so it's been here for a while. Who's laying eggs outside? You guys know better than that. Yeah, don't look at me buff like that. Who was laying the egg? Is that you? Oh. Yeah. Come on, guys, out of the way. I gotta get through here. Now you guys follow me around. You guys want treats, don't you? I got nothing for you, though, sweethearts. I guess I shouldn't say those words, should I? You guys know those words. Anyway, let me put the egg up here for now. Buffs are kind of ornery. Friendly to us, but ornery in general. Alright. Blue, you're getting bossy. You're such a bossy little bird. Yes, you are a bossy little bird. Here you go. Here you go, Blue. No. Blind right. bird's having an egg. Having an egg? <laughs> Laying an egg? Yeah. She's not eating an egg, babe. No. <laughs> Alright. I got other stuff to do, like fix that. Okay, guys. Well, like I was worried about, I didn't get around to screwing these together yet uh, with the unsupplied screws, by the way. Um, yeah, so got a little bit windy. I mean, it's not even like serious wind, just a little windy. A little above that, quite a bit, well, above average wind. And look what happened. <laughs> yeah, it just destroyed it. It wasn't even that heavy a wind, so that concerns me. Because it even pulled, I pulled this up a little further than it was, but uh, even that's pulled out of the ground. I had to use a hammer to get that in. So all these are fine, like the ground stuff. Oops. This is the problem with this design, though, and it's good that they... Let's see if I can find one that has it. This is bent. It's good that they provide these little slots so you can screw them in. But really, they should be providing the screws at the same time. So as you build it, you screw it together. Because that was the main problem with this build, I think. It's just that it's not screwed together. Look, it's bent all these metal out of the plastic. We'll be able to get it back together and screw it together. And hopefully that helps a bit. Which is nice, actually, because now that it's been ripped down... I can screw it together as we put it back together. So anyway, I'm not gonna show you guys all that. I might show you a few little clips here and there, but I'm not gonna go crazy on that. You see me built it once. Uh, you guys can kind of figure out that, well, this is cracked. 
That's not good. Uh, you guys can figure out. I'm just going to put some screws in the middle. It's not hard. But I don't even know if we can rebuild it perfectly because it's pretty trashed some places. So as you can see, I just went around and screwed these in. It'll just make it a little more sturdy. This thing's not very stable or sturdy to begin with, uh, but this will help. So now we're, I have a few screws to put in the back after I throw the tarp over again, fasten it all down. Uh, this wasn't the best location because the wind does come from there. So I couldn't think of a good place to put it, <clears throat> except for in between the thing there or something, or on the other side of the lean-to where the tractor goes. But then there's no uh, good access for my truck or anything to get in there. So I don't know. We'll see how this lasts. Hopefully in the middle of the winter, I'm not fixing it, but I think I will be. <laughs> anyway, this is the best I can do for now. So uh, I'll get the top back, put back on and uh, be right back. All right, so that's pretty much it. Like I said, this thing's not, uh, it's already ripped a bit down here and stuff. It's more of a temporary thing we got from this year, and maybe we can grow some plants in it next year if it survives. Like in a different spot or something. Next year we'll use this for something else, and I hopefully I can build like a little, little shack or something, or like a lean-to to put them in. We were lucky that we got these lean-tos with this place. Now they're not in great shape, but they are made out of, uh, for the most part, made out of um, pallets. So what we're going to do is uh, go look around for pallets. Out here, it's really hard to find them because people do that with them, like build stuff with them and everything. So they take them up for free or they'll grab as many as they can whenever they can get them. So, uh, so, but we go to BC a lot and in BC there's in the lower mainland because nobody builds stuff there because they don't have big lots like this. Uh, you can get a lot of them for free. So we might load up next time we go to BC, whole truck full in the back of my truck full, 20 or 30 pallets if we can get them. And then we can build like a lean-to out of that, so for free. We can make sun barriers out of them too. Yeah, we can also make sun barriers. They're really useful, really useful here. But anyway, uh, yeah, if I do another one of those or something for the straw and that, it would be great. Or even a little shack or whatever, it doesn't matter. But the price of wood nowadays, even though it has come down a little bit, it's still, uh, still beneficial to get those things for, for free if you can.